Hello. Hi everybody. This is Priya here from H2K Infosys. Can all the participants hear me? Yes, participants, please let me know if all of you could hear me on the chat box. Okay then, so we'll get started and this is the ISTQB preparation. Preparation course demo session. Okay, so I guess there are all the participants over here who are either taking the QA course with us or you must have already completed the QA course with us. Correct? Okay. So now after the completion of the QA course, can you tell me what would be your next task? Yes, participants, you can answer me on the chat boxes. After completion of the QA course, what is your next task? The next task is basically to search for the jobs, right? You need to apply for the jobs and you have to search the jobs, correct? And for that, what do you require? You require the resume, correct? Okay, fine. So now tell me, what are the different contents of your resume? What should be added into your resume? What are the different things that you are going to add in your resume? You have to apply for the job, right? So you need to add the different objectives. What is the objective of your resume? You need to add certain projects there. You have to add the skills. It could be the technical skills or it could be the soft skills, right? And then you have to add if you have any kind of certifications. If you could add the education background, it would be good. So there are certain things that you are going to add here in this resume, out of which certification is one of the important component, okay? now. It is not mandatory that you need to have the certification but whenever you have the certification on your resume, it will give you a credibility on your resume. Okay, it will give you the credibility towards searching the jobs. Alright. So basically, each and every aspect that you are adding into your resume, it will take you to the another step. Okay. Now you add one additional skill, it will make you better than other candidates over there. Okay, you add one additional testing tool, it will make you again better than other candidates over there. So for every component or every factor that you add into your resume, it will definitely take you a step ahead when compared to other candidates while you are applying for the jobs. So certification is also one such important thing. If you add it, it will definitely take you a step ahead when compared to the other candidates in the team. Okay. So now the question is, what kind of certification are you going to write? Because if you go to the Google and give a QA certification, there are n number of certifications that are available. So now, on what basis are you going to choose your certification? Can you tell me? What kind of certification you have to choose? Now let's say you want to choose a QA certification. Okay. So what are the different things that you look for while you choose a certification? What is the most important thing? Yes, participants, while you are selecting the QA certification, what is the most important thing that you look for in the certification? So the first and important thing that you have to look for in the certification is basically it should be acceptable by or it should be recognized by most of the IT employers. And since you are going to apply the jobs in US, you have to again focus more on that. So we would like to have the certification that is recognized by most of the IT employers of US, okay? 
so we would like to have a such certification fine and then one such certification that I would be suggesting you is the ISTQB okay so we have the ISTQB which is a foundation level certification all right that we would be suggesting to start with for the QA okay so we would like to have a certification on your resume which is recognized and which is accepted by most of the IT employers of US clear and then one such certification is what it is basically the ISTQB CTFL the QA certification that we have okay so today's demo session is all about the ISTQB CTFL QA certification okay so let me take you to this website so that I could make you understand more about it and for that you have to visit astqb.org so there is a main website which is istqb.org so you can see here we have the istqb.org this is a main website actually okay and here is the roadmap so here you see we start with the foundation level okay we start with the foundation level over here before there was only foundation level existing but now they have also added the agile testing and this is optional topic under the foundation level and then in the future that is do you see it is planned for 2015 the model based testing also will be added okay and then the second level that is advanced level will be test manager and then we have the test analyst or test technical test analyst who will be certified at the advanced level and then we have the expert level which is for the test managers basically so you can see here we have the three levels of certification that come under this ISTQB okay so you should be starting from this one that is the foundation level okay anybody can start with the foundation level foundation level examination okay now this certification is not just valid in US but it is recognized across the world not just in US but it is recognized across the world so in every country there is the ISTQB board okay and for example we have the ISTQB board of US and we call it as American Software Testing Qualification Board okay we call it as ASTQB.org and here you will find all the additional information for the registration of examination and then booking the examination over here okay so this is official site that we have that belongs to the American Software Testing Qualifications Board so ASTQB means what it is American Software Testing Qualifications Board ISTQB means International Software Testing Qualifications Board okay and these are the people who are conducting this examination which is recognized not just in US but across the world all the IT employers recognize this examination okay so we'll have a look at certain things that we are going to provide as a part of this ISTQB preparation course from H2K Infosys So let me show you certain things over here. Okay, just a second, participants. fine so here you can see we have the QA certification preparation course alright and then we have the CTFL here that is certified tester foundation level what is CTFL it is certified tester at the foundation level exam which is conducted by the ISTQB that is international software testing qualifications board okay and from H2K Infosys we are conducting the course for the preparation
So now what exactly is this ISTQB? As I mentioned, it is a software testing board which is popular across the world and it is into the existence since 2002 and since then it has been a world leader in software testing certification. Now for example, if you want to take a certification as a developer, let's say you want to take the certification in any kind of Microsoft technologies. So what is a company that you would be trusting for the certification? You should be taking the Microsoft certifications only, then only it will be recognized. For example, you want a project management certification. You have to take it from the PMP, PMP board and then only it is considered as a recognized one. So similarly, for the QA, you have to take the certification from this ISTQB, then only it is considered to be recognized. Okay. So there are more than like 47 testing boards means in the different country, every country has their testing board over here which comes under the ISTQB. Alright. And here it is changing continuously. It's not that you know they are static but then the syllabus could be changing. Alright. And then the pattern of the exam might be changing. So do you see here whatever changes are being done they are going to be listed over here. So while you are appearing for the examination you should make sure that you have a continuous watch on the changes that they are doing in the examination. Okay. So that you can stay updated with the exam syllabus and then you can clear the examination. Okay. So now again the question is why choose the certification? So the one most important thing that I mentioned to you is it should be accepted and uh, recognized by most of the IT employers. So here there are some more reasons. It will maximize your job opportunities. Alright. When compared to other candidates. Now let's say there are 10, 10 candidates who come for the job interview and you are one of them having the certification when compared to others. So you will definitely be preferred for the job. Because your knowledge is already tested by this ISTQB board and it is already certified. So the employer is more sure about your knowledge when compared to the other candidates in the interview. And it will increase your potential. Okay. So whatever you have learned, you will understand that yes, it is as per the standards, whatever you have learned. Okay. And it is. It is all the practical and then the real time it is as per the standards. Okay. So you will be confident about whatever you have learned. It will increase your competitiveness and as I mentioned, it is going to give you the recognition over here. Okay. And then it is a global examination. So you write it in one country. It is acceptable in all the countries over here. Okay. Most of the countries that are listed under the ISTQB. For example, you write it in US. Okay. And it is acceptable in all the other countries as well. And then the standard of examination does not change. Now let's say if it is India, the examination is going to be easier or more difficult. And then when you come to US, again the exam standard change. It doesn't happen like that. So across the different countries wherein they have the board, okay, they have the same standard of examination. Same kind of questions will be there. Okay. Same level of difficulty will be there. Okay. And also the same kind of recognition you are going to get anywhere. So you write it in a country and it is valid across the globe. And one more thing is you need not renew it frequently. So it is a lifetime certification that you have. It doesn't expire. You need not renew it. Okay. And also the standard of examination, the way it is conducted, the difficulty level, everything is going to be same for all the countries. Okay. And then it's going to be credible. Credible means it is acceptable and it has very much importance when it comes to the QA field. And here you can see the three levels of certification that I just now showed you on their website. So we start with the foundation level certification. And then we have the advanced level and then we have the expert certification. So here you can see that in the foundation level examination, okay, anybody can take up this certification. 
okay so here your basic understanding and basic concepts of the testing are tested in the examination and do you see you need not have any kind of experience background here you need not have any kind of other certification there are no prerequisites or the requirements over here so anybody can take up this examination wherein you will get your testing knowledge the basics of testing knowledge certified then we have the advanced level so this is a mid-level certification but for this they are having certain prerequisites so one thing is you should have cleared the CTFL examination second thing is you should have at least three years of experience in order to write this advanced certification then we have the expert certification over here wherein you need to have at least seven plus years of experience and then you should have cleared the foundation level and then the advanced level okay so do you see here we have the different levels and you have to start from the foundation level examination okay now who can take up this course anybody who would like to have the basic understanding of the testing and then all the testers, the test analysts, test engineers, consultants, managers, user acceptance testers and then project managers, quality managers, software development managers, the BAs, IT directors, management consultants. So everybody can take up this course. So you might be wondering right why project manager, why BAs, why the IT directors because all these people are going to be the part of the IT project team who got to understand at least the basics of the testing and that is why this ISTQB CTFL can be taken even by the people at the project manager so that is I mean it is a such highly accepted ISTQB um, exam that we have which is even taken by the project managers alright it gives the recognition to them as well now if it is recognized by so many employers of US then definitely the difficulty level is expected to be higher okay so you cannot expect it to be easier which you can just sit at the home and then you know you can give the examination no the way the examination is conducted the type of the questions that you're going to get is everything having the standards and the level of difficulty is definitely higher okay so just imagine if it was the easier one everybody would have written it everybody would have cleared it okay such exams have no value okay so only when you are able to prepare up to certain level and then give an examination which has certain difficulty level so it will help you to get the credibility and recognition okay so it is little bit difficult okay but doesn't matter we will see how it can be cleared over here and for this one we are conducting the ISTQB preparation course from the H2K Infosys alright exam is conducted by ISTQB but then the preparation course is conducted by the H2K Infosys okay and there are exactly six modules over here I'll just show you the syllabus so that you get the good understanding about it so here you can see this is the syllabus of the examination wherein there are exactly six modules and then you can see here the syllabus itself is about 78 pages the syllabus okay 78 pages of syllabus and then the six modules and one thing that it is different from your regular course is here even the white box testing is included okay apart from the QA means the black box testing or the system testing whatever you are learning here in the QA course the additional thing that they have added is they are also adding the white box testing techniques here in the test design techniques so we had learned the black box right even the white box testing techniques are added over here means you will get certain questions alright wherein they are going to give certain programs they might ask you to analyze the programs and then give the answer okay so even the white box testing is a part of this um, course content alright which is different from your usual QA course so totally there are about six modules which are from the syllabus and then this is an additional thing like we have the ISTQB certification the roadmap for the preparation and also we will guide you through the registration process for the certification okay and approximately it can take about 
six to seven weeks for us to complete the course and you can see here it is more than 25 hours of training that we are going to conduct to prepare you on this examination okay okay there is a question here why do we have to why do we have the white box testing questions we are giving a testing certification exam that's right Madhvi but then it is a examination syllabus that we have and this is decided by the ISTQB okay so we have this requirement from the ISTQB the board has given the syllabus and we are supposed to follow it okay and this will be the roadmap for our study we have the ISTQB syllabus over here okay so as a part of our course we will be first focusing on the syllabus one thing you should keep in mind in this examination you will not get anything that is out of syllabus everything will be from the syllabus itself so if you are thoroughly preparing the syllabus that would be very much sufficient for you and then we have the ISTQB glossary here wherein we have the list of terminologies and then we have the PPTs and then the PDFs then we will give you module wise practice papers means there are totally six modules over here and for each module we will have a practice paper okay then we will conduct the mock test which will be similar to the final examination and after that you will be writing your ISTQB certification final examination okay so this will be our roadmap for the study now as a part of this course you will be getting the complete glossary the syllabus um, which is already available on the site but then we'll be providing it to you then we have the ISO IIC sorry IE, IEEE standard documents the PPTs and the PDFs on the concepts of each module will be given to you and then we have the different kind of practice papers here like module wise papers category wise papers exam based papers and then we also have the flashcards over here okay so these are the different materials that we will be providing you as a part of this preparation course now more about this examination so here you can see so you can see here participants here we have the breakdown in the examination fee okay so for the preparation course that is conducted by the H2K Infosys, you need to pay to the H2K, alright? And how much it is, you need to check with our training coordinators. And then for the exam registration, you have to pay uh, another part that is to the ISTQB, you have to make the payment, okay? And that is fixed as 250. Currently it is 250. But then we never know. It might change in the future. It might hardly change from 20 to 50 dollars whatever. But then there is some different amount that has to be paid to the ISTQB for the exam registration. And for the preparation course, there is a different um, price which will be paid to the H2K in process. And you can check this with our training coordinators. Alright. And then as I mentioned to you, all the basics of your testing will be tested in this examination. And the reason why I mentioned that it is difficult, okay, so do you see 40 multiple choice questions are there, okay, which are to be answered in the 60 minutes. Now, can you tell me how much time you can spend on each question? And each question, obviously, it's a computer-based examination. You can expect it to be at least one-fourth or one-half of your computer screen, okay. So now tell me if there are 40 questions in 60 minutes, how much time you can spend on each question? Yes, can anybody tell me how much time you can spend on each question? It's exactly about one and a half minute on each question. All right, okay, one and a half minute on each question. Fine. Now, in this one and a half minute, you should be able to read the question, understand the question, and then it's a multiple choice means one question has four options you have to select one right option over here and definitely neither the question is going to be easy nor the options are to be chosen easily okay they will be quite confusing and you will feel that all the answers are right sometimes you feel that all the answers are incorrect okay so you will definitely have that confusion you have to 
arrive at the answer if it is a program okay it can go more than a page and then you have to analyze the program do some calculation or um, interpret it and then choose the answer now tell me is it a easier task okay to get the answer in one and a half minute that is why I said it's a difficult examination the first thing is there is a time constraint okay so in this just one and a half minute you should be able to read the entire question understand it and you should be able to choose the right answer okay and the next thing is regarding the cutoff okay the passing cutoff for the examination so you must have written the different kind of examinations right it could be any kind of qualifying examination all right it could be any kind of um, entrance examinations all right or you must have written your uh, degree certificate examination so can you tell me participants what was the cutoff that you have come across till now there must be some passing marks right passing marks or you can say the cutoff so how much have you attempted till now or have you come across it could be 35 percent 50 percent okay but here you should see that the cutoff is like 65 percent okay so what is the cutoff here in this examination 65 percent means 65 percent is for passing and it means that out of 40 questions you should get at least 26 questions correct if you have to clear the examination okay so the cutoff is also very high which will set another level of difficulty for you okay and then this is the electronic examination the computer based you have to visit the nearest pro metric center or the examination center to take the exam and it will be yes online and also the exam is monitored all right we have the invigilator there who will be monitoring uh, sorry who will be monitoring your examination okay and also your examination will be monitored over the cctv cameras and that will get recorded so there is no chance of anybody doing any kind of malpractice there this is one more reason why the employers trust this organization because the way the examination is conducted it's a very genuine manner that they are conducting they make sure that the real knowledge of the person is being tested okay so this is how the exam gets little bit difficult when compared to the other examination but not to worry as I mentioned to you we are conducting the preparation course over here from H2K Infosys all right wherein we will be preparing you for this examination okay so here we are going to conduct the weekend sessions because in the weekdays anyways you are attending your QA course right so this session will be conducted in the weekend okay and then each session could be approximately from one hour to two hours of duration all right and it will take about six to seven weekends as i mentioned to you to complete this entire course so basically from the h2k infosys we are helping you to do the preparation for this qa course um now if you have any kind of number sorry if any kind of questions you can please ask yes anybody has any questions you can please ask. I can see a couple of them over here. How much this certification will help us to find the job? So this is a question from Smita. Smita, whenever you go to the job interview, alright, so this is one additional thing that you could add on to your resume and then if you are having this kind of certification, it is going to give you the preference when compared to the other candidates. Okay. Should we know the programming to give the examination? Not exactly the programming part, but then the steps or the logic of the program that you got to understand. We will discuss about it, how the white box testing is done and what are the techniques used. You need to be understanding that. Okay. How many people are certified from the H2K in process? Okay, well, a good question, Raj. Basically, you can see that whoever has written the examination from H2K Infosys, till now we have got the 100% result. Okay, none of them have failed. Everybody has passed the examination. Okay, we have not even a single 
um, candidate reported who has not cleared the examination. Okay. Then does the ISTQB site give any study materials for the registering? Yes, a couple of materials are given like syllabus and the glossary and one test paper but then you need to prepare more Mukta and that is why we are conducting the certification examination uh, preparation wherein we will be solving lot of questions and lot of mock-up papers. Okay. How much they charge for this complete exam? I think this is answered. So as I mentioned to you, for the preparation you have to pay to H2K which you have to check with our training coordinator and you know the number, the same number 770-777-1269 and then you should also pay to the ISTQB board for the registration of the examination which is currently 250 but then it is subject to change. Okay. Do we have to pay extra? Yes, Neha. So the regarding the payment breakup, I've given over here. Let me check your next question. Okay, some examples are available, Smita, I could show you. There is one sample paper which you get it on the exam site itself. So here you can see some of the sample questions. Okay, so you will have the questions like this and then you will have the four options to be chosen from that. Okay, the test is having a single part, Neha. Six modules will be there. I mean, in the syllabus, there are six modules, six topics will be there. And then you have totally 40 questions to be answered in 60 minutes. Okay. Where to go for the examination if you are living in the Cleveland? So if you are in the Cleveland, see what you have to do is, if you want to check out the examination centers, you should visit astqb.org here. And do you see? We have the test center location. Click on that and then it will take you to the exam locations that you can find out. So you have selected the country as US and then um, here you have the different states. All right. From where you can select your state and it will display all the examinations, examination center that are available in your location. Okay, so that is how you search. So more about this, okay, we will be able to um, discuss once we start with the course. So in the course, I will tell you how to register for the examination and how to do the preparation for the examination. And I will also give you like step by step. Now let's say if there is a one week left out for the examination, how you should prepare. If there are 15 days that are left out, how to do the preparation. So that is how I will be guiding you. Okay. Because you know, right, when it comes to like just say previous day or just two days left for the examination, you will definitely be completely blank and then you don't know which to uh, which topic to read, what to prepare. You will have that kind of confusion. So I will give you a proper roadmap for your preparation based on the number of days that are available. Okay. Um, regarding the first class Shailendra, we need to get the schedule from H2K Infosys. So while you call them for the enrollment on this number, okay, you can just check with them. So this is a number that you have to call for the enrollment. Okay. Now participants, if you have any more questions, please tell me. This was the information that I had to share with you. Any more questions, let me know. Okay. Yes, participants, I'll wait for a minute. If you have some more questions, please ask. Okay, one more thing, the recordings could not be given for this class. The reason being, we will be conducting some class tests and then some theoretical concepts and all will be discussed, okay? So usually the recordings would not be available, but then if you want the session to be recorded or if you want to know what is the topic, like before your 
missing the session all right Venkat you have to send an email to me at least a day before so that I can uh, get the session recorded for you okay Yes, Smita, I will be taking this course, okay? So, this course will be taken by me. Um, Shailendra, usually it will be in the evening times in the weekend, okay? So, usually we are conducting these sessions in the evening times in the weekend, okay? Okay, then participants. So, this is what we have to discuss as a part of this ISTQB preparation course demo. And let me repeat. For the enrollment, you have to call on this number 770-777-1269. Okay. Clear participants? If you want, you can please note down the number. It is 770-777-1269 for the enrollment. Okay then. So thanks participants for attending this demo class and we will meet during the preparation course. Okay. Okay then. Thank you everybody and good night.